Let's all go off the record. First, make sure you hear this. I am not, I repeat, I am not in favor of boorish behavior towards women. It's rude and bad manners. Whether directed at a man, a woman, Democrat, or even Republican. You got that? Now this. What was the New York Times thinking? Putting this article out about Donald Trump on the front page and above the fold. The headline reads, Crossing the Line, Trump's Private Conduct with Women. Placing it there, the New York Times is acting like it thinks it has just found another set of the Pentagon Papers. And what does the article say about Trump? Well, one of the key players in the piece disputes the story, saying the New York Times twisted her words. But there's more. What's the news? That Trump uses boorish words? Who didn't know that? Trump had a spat with Rosie O'Donnell years ago that got plastered coast to coast. Everyone knows that. Note to the New York Times, this is not investigative journalism. It's old news, but with a new agenda. I can't help but wonder, where was that New York Times front page and above the fold outrage eight years ago with all the boorish things said about another woman, Governor Sarah Palin? No place, because she doesn't count, because it's not a woman the Times cares about. They care about their agenda. P.S. Note to the media. Be fair to Hillary Clinton, too. And that's my off-the-record comment tonight.